Well, greetings to you once again, my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus. Greet you in that name that's above every other name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee bows, every tongue confesses, because He, the Lord Jesus Christ, He is above it all. And in Him, we live, we move, and we have our being, and we go on in what we're in the middle of right now at such a time as this, knowing that He that began a good work in us will carry it on to completion. And you and I are in the middle of that process. Sometimes it's painful, frustrating, difficult as He brings you to an end of yourself and to a oneness with Him. You know, He's got to bring you to an end of yourself. And sometimes, I know this, this one's awful, but it's part of our reality. Sometimes He's got to orchestrate the circumstances and the situations in our lives to reveal things that we have hidden and things that we we don't want to deal with. A lot of times there's a lot of things that we don't want to deal with, but in order for us to continue on, and in order for us to progress in being taken from glory to glory, strength to strength, being led and guided by His Spirit, in order for that to happen, He's got to take us through some pretty dicey, awful situations to reveal um, some things in us. You know, an example of that is, uh, are we are we content to seek God if the blessing is not there? <clears throat> if that, if that, I mean, the example of Job is the classic one, first one in the scriptures, um, as far as the timeline goes, but, uh, which we don't even look at time anymore, but, okay, Job, right? Okay, so, you know, as long as everything's going great around you, are you happy and everything's good and praise God but as soon as as soon as the wealth and health aren't there you know because right because the prosperity gospel says tells you that um, if there's if there's if you're missing something as far as health or wealth that something's wrong with your faith right right you know forget those people they know nothing of the scriptures because for them, God is just a an American Express card. God is just some way to try to achieve in the world. They're just looking for the formula they need to try to hit. And if you look at scripturally, if you look at, at life, if you look at, at actual life experience and what people end up having to go through, um, you know, that doctrine is incorrect. Does that mean that God doesn't bless? Absolutely not. It means that whatever it is, is whatever it is. It means that if the blessing, as far as the success in the world and the material and all of that, if that's not necessarily there, you still seek the Savior. You still seek the King of Kings. You still seek that which is true and that which is real. You, and you don't... Um, you don't carry on in this delusion of what have you done for me lately which is essentially where most people are coming from in that prosperity gospel which is a false teaching um, which will shipwreck your life because what happens when things aren't going well oh now you just got to get a ramp back up right what do you need but God knows what He's doing with His people. And if you carry on and cons and continue with what is real and what's true, you have to seek Him. And He's going to take you through some phases, and that phase is also going to be part and parcel of learning His nature. Because then if He blesses you in the natural, He's not blessing a mess. A lot of times, for the real ones, if He blesses you in the natural, he's actually creating a massive issue because now you reinforce a false construct, a wrong thinking, something that's actually going to be destructive and detrimental to you. The more that he puts in your life, if you've got a bad foundation, the bigger the collapse when, you, when reality hits. So God does not want to multiply a mess. <clears throat> and he doesn't want us to go on in an illusion or a delusion so seeking him and seeking him first and seeking seeking first the kingdom and the truth 
and and who we are in that that's that's far more important for the spiritual lesson and the spiritual reality than something in the external and you know so often because because so what so in the material you you can have a completely false illusion of who he is and who you are in him Christ Jesus an ex an exceptional example of that too he took on our our he he went from he that knew no sin became sin for us he took a massive downgrade in in his life and his experience coming here to walk on this earth to die for our sins he could have been born in a king's house no you know it was not about um, it was not about the natural setup it was not about the natural setup does that mean that God doesn't bless in the natural absolutely not but you got to keep things in the right perspective it's got to be what what Paul said where you know what I've learned the secret whether I got a lot or a little I've learned the secret to be content in all situations that's what God wants us to be at. Can you be content in all situations? So, you know, you're going to be surrounded by a lot of things. And in order to, um, in order to be able to walk free, you've got to know um, the truth. Because you're going to be confronted by these people. And they are going to have a false doctrine that corrupts. That sounds good and... You're going to have to know the reality of what you walk in and know the difference. Because see, for the follower of Christ, whether we have a lot or whether we, whether it is all evaporates in a second, as long as you have Christ Jesus, you've got everything. And you know that. And you walk in that. So just, you know, there's freedom in that. <clears throat> then whatever it is that comes up, great whatever it is that comes up that's fine because in whatever comes up and whatever takes place you have him and he's going to show you and God's got ways man God's got ways of providing and linking and creating and opening up opportunity and doing all kinds of things and if you limit him by the way that the world tries to do things you're going to end up very frustrated Because the world has its own bent. And, I mean, some of the things that God had... I mean, look at look at when he was talking to... When he's talking to Peter and James and John, and he's recruiting them, and he's bringing them in. Peter, okay. Um, toss your net on the other side of the boat. You're going to find some fish. We've been toiling the whole night, Lord. But based on your word, sure, we'll do it again. You're putting the nets away. We're done. This is not the time to fish. This is the time to, to, to quit. And God says, give it one more shot. Only I'm the one directing you. I'm the one that's leading you. I'm the one that's guiding you. So, caught so much fish, their nets began to tear. That they called for another boat. Miraculous catch of fish. You have to be a fisherman to understand that one. Because if we don't have a context, if you don't do that kind of thing, okay? Time and time and time again. Oh, another fishing example. Go. They got to pay the temple tax. Go fish. First fish that you catch, check inside its mouth. It's got the tax in there. I mean, come on, people. He's. It's not this. This whole thing. Let him lead and guide you. If he needs to prop you up, he'll prop you up. If he needs to give you something, he'll give you something. If he needs to shed some things in your life, he'll shed some things in your life. Because you know why? Your soul and your walk with him are far more important than all of this other stuff. God blesses and chastises those he considers sons and daughters. And sometimes he may have to take you through a phase just to get some things burned out of you. Thank him for that. 
because he's not leaving you in some illusion and in some falsehood that you've decided you have to see and you have to have because somebody gave you a live a teaching. Don't fake it till you make it. Walk with Christ and you've made it. Ah, all right. Hey, there's there's a lot to say, but um, just gonna. I just wanted to encourage you guys for a bit. God bless you. Um, we'll we'll catch up again soon. Just needed to um, turn this on and say hi. God bless you guys. Um, crazy times in the world. Absolutely love it, love it, love it. Because everything God is shaking, everything that can be shaken, you got to see and you got to know and you got to recognize and understand that fact and that reality. Um, he is shaking everything that can be shaken. And um, <laughs> people being caught on hot mics, people being caught covering up things, people scrambling, trying to find other ways. Oh my gosh, it's going to get more and more and more interesting. You just walk in the truth. You walk in the freedom. You walk in the light who is Christ Jesus. And let everything else be what it is, all right? All right, God bless you guys. We love you. Drop us an email, faithmix at gmail.com. Say hi. We love you. We'll catch up with you again sometime soon. God bless you. Bye.